I'm an idealist. I, um, I'm passionate about the future and, uh, and the future that we can create and the potentials ahead. Now, I'm not a naive idealist. I, I don't believe that just because we have an intention, the world, the universe is going to cooperate and make it all line up perfectly by itself. But I am a realist. I, as, a, as an activist, and also I have an institute for the future, I've discovered that change is a very difficult thing to do, particularly if it's going to be core fundamental change like some of the things we were speaking about today. And uh, I gleaned a particular insight that I thought would be great to share with you today. It's, um, it's really that when we're interested in the future and we're interested in the creative potentials, that the range of what we consider possible define how far we can stretch out. So, for instance, if someone's think about the future, their own future, the future, as their financial potential, that's going to be the range within which their creativity and what they consider possible. If somebody considers the future in terms of having a Hollywood perfect relationship, that's going to guide a lot of their choices, action, creativity, and intention. And likewise, if we extrapolate further, if we aim for peace, if we think about the future and we say, I want peace in the world, and we have a very fixed and narrow idea of what that means and how to do it, then that's going to limit the range of the creativity and potential that's possible. So, what I want to inspire in everyone today, and what I strive to inspire in myself as well, is how far, how wide can we straight stretch the potential of what we consider possible in real time? So I want to ask you that, and we're going to take a little detour right now, because we have some volunteers, and we're going to have a little fun, so let's try something. Now, um, I'm going to ask... Um, you guys to help me out here. We're going to have a mind reading section on this side and a telekinesis section. I'm not an illusionist, by the way. I'm a mentalist. And if you call me an illusionist, I will bend your car key. Um, all right. Um, you will think about uh, something in the future. You will think about something past. Past is fine. Okay. You will think about the present and future. Past, present, future. I thought that would be apropos for this. Okay, and um, uh, we'll improvise here. Uh, do you have an object I can borrow? All right, very good. We're going to try a little uh, mind reading experiment. What's your name? Max. Max Gerard, hi. You're not in on it, this, right? Are you guys not helping me out, you promise? All right, you're true volunteers. We don't want people to think... People come up with theories. You know, I try to create this era of not knowing and mystery, and people create theories, which is fine with me, but I like to blow their theories away. All right. So take one of these, and uh, I'm going to have one of these. I'm going to try and send you and all of you a two-digit number. Okay? Step back a little bit. Okay. Two-digit number um, between one and 100, or 10 and 100, since it's two-digit. All right, I want you to write it on there. And everybody think of it, if you can. All right, do you all have one? Okay, give me the pencil. Pencil, pencil. Okay, can we get the camera on this? This is what I got. Don't show him yet. What number did you have? 88. 88, indeed, 88. Thank you very much. That is interesting, isn't it? All right. All right, very good. Um, who believes in telekinesis? Raise your hand. All right, this is for you. I don't really believe that stuff, but here we go. Watch, watch, watch. Just in case any of you believes through the closed loop of my hands. All right. I don't know. Okay, I like to do things that are a little bit hard to explain, you know, that, that uh, a little bit uh, difficult. So, um, do you want to help me out? Come on up. Um, let's see, I've asked for some glasses here and some forks. Could you please check it out, make sure it's normal? 
Yeah? Okay. If you hold the glass out and, uh, yeah, anywhere you want. It's a solid. Yeah. Okay. A little bit lower. I'm going to try to move the fork here. Okay. Just to try and make it spin a little bit. Watch. Ooh. The energy is strong today. The energy is strong. Okay. All right. Come up. Come up. Come up. I don't know. I want you to hold this like this with both hands, fingers straight, elbows straight so the energy flows. Imagine energy going out into your hand. Energy. Can you feel that energy going out into your hand? Can you imagine it? Yep. Yes? Yes. Yes? yes? Amazing. Okay, you're doing great. Now watch this. Since you're a skeptic, I'm going to do something special for you then. You know how they say glass is liquid? Mm -hmm. Together, we're going to try and bend the glass, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so um, is it bending? Not really, huh? It's just turning? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you give it more energy? Mm -hmm. Very good. Here we go. Now, I think you're going to start feeling it bending. Do you feel it bending now? Yes? Yes. yes. Oh my God, do you feel that? Yep. Check that out. Cool. It is bent, twisted. You can keep that as a souvenir. Thank you. All right, I don't know. How many of you are skeptics out here? Raise your hands. Ooh, an intellectual crowd today, huh? That's my favorite. All right, we'll have to do a little bit better now. Okay. Um, this is, um, um, let's try some mind reading then, okay? So um, we'll try it with you guys. Let me take this. Um, you have uh, someone from your past. Okay. Um, can you uh, picture this person? Uh, black hair? No, okay. Um, this is not an exact science, obviously. Um, there's no way I could know this person. I mean, when was the last time you... Th uh, here, there's a, there's a little... Uh, thing here. Hold it up nicely. Yeah. <laughs> when was the last time you thought of that person? That you mentioned this name to anybody? Uh, yes. I, uh, I mentioned it to some of my girlfriend earlier. Oh, you did? Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. Was I there when you did no, that? No, you weren't. Okay. Um, was there cameras? Or no, no. It could have been. <laughs> digital age. The cameras are everywhere. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, this is, but this is someone from a long time ago, I'm, I'm getting. Yes. Um, uh, where you grew up? Yes. Uh, I see. Can you picture them? Can mm -hmm. you, you picturing them? Okay. I'm seeing. Uh, I'm seeing some sort of mechanism here. Um, um, they're in some sort of vehicle. Yep. Uh, in a big field. Yes. So you're picturing someone in a field. Is it? Uh, I'm not a very good artist. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you could see that, but let me hold it up. Doo -doo -doo. It's a tractor, right? A tractor? <laughs> that's what you're picturing? Yes. My grandfather. Your gra Wait. All right, now, if it's your grandfather, then I don't know if this is going to work or not, because I'm uh, getting a nickname from when he was a kid, so I don't know if you know this, but uh, does Seppi mean something? Did they call him Seppi? Yes. <laughs> now, did you tell your girlfriend that? No, I didn't. Uh, Peter something. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. We're working. It's working. It's working. All right. Uh, let's go into present. I'm not ready for the present. Can we go into the future for a moment? All right. Take it. Take it. Future, future, future. <sighs> okay, this is tough. Um, 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 you're doing something with somebody in the future. Is that what you're picturing? Correct. Uh, I can't quite tell what this is. Uh, please don't tell me the name, but I'm getting a little bit of a thing here. Uh, could you, would you be able to draw what you're doing with sure. this person? Yeah, is that something you can draw? I can draw that. Okay, not too long. <laughs> I didn't take that long. Did I take that long? It's pretty detailed. Right. Oh, it's detailed. it's detailed. That's probably why I got I some sort of smorgasbord. Okay, yeah. I don't know what this is. Is it... Can I see? Yes. Ooh. Oh. Oh. 
What is that? What are you doing? I can't quite tell. That would be a hat from a party that I'm planning for the Kentucky Derby. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, Riley? Does that mean anything to you? What was that? Riley? Riding. What? Riding. Riding? Yes. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Still skeptical? All right. Now, if you're a skeptic, we have to include skeptics because we're, we want to expand the range of what we consider possible. So I accept skeptics, okay? So just be known. All right, now you're thinking of something in the present. Can you imagine it? Can you create a sure. visual picture? Because this is really important because we need to know, wait, this, is, this was horse riding. So that's about moving. Horses is like about moving. We're moving into the future. We went from the past. Uh, He's, he's not alive anymore, is he? So we threw out the past. We're moving into the future. We need the present. Now, you guys didn't plan this. You didn't even talk about what you were going to do together, yep. right? There's nothing. You didn't know this was going to happen. So let's do talk about the present now. This is going to be really interesting, I think. All right. So I want you to take this. And in a second, I'm going to ask you to draw something. Come on up in the middle here. Um, this is so perfect. I can't tell you. You're just amazing. You have just brought this whole thing together, the past and the future together, because, go ahead. Draw yeah, draw it. God, I think she's doing it. <laughs> come, 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 come. No way, right? <laughs> good. What do we need for the present? We need beauty. Beauty it is. It's a flower, a daisy. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so. So the future. As I said before, I'm very interested in the future. Um, I asked you beforehand, how broad is what you consider possible? Now, it's a good question to always hold, because you... you, you uh, it can always stretch further. And so we took a little detour, and now we're back to reality. All right, I'm not trying to say that you should consider that we're all going to become mentalists and mind readers and spoon benders, okay? Just to be clear. Um, but it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor for our capacity to consider possibilities that we can't yet even imagine. So, in going forward, we need to do that. Now, of course, on one hand, we need to leave the range of possibilities as far wide as possible, but we also need to reach for next step and um, have something concrete in the horizon. So I wanted to uh, offer something that uh, you know, I, I keep seeing in terms of the conversation about the future, that we have extraordinary idealism towards technology, towards systems, towards communications. We know incredible things are going to come out. We know medicine. We're going to have unbelievable developments. So we have a lot of confidence, a lot of idealism, a lot of expectations in what we can do. And I invite you all to also consider the potential and the same kind of idealism towards who we can be. You know, what kind of new values, new shared agreements can we create in culture? What kind of ways can we expand our own thinking, even beyond the best thinking that there is already? And what are the ways that we can deepen our own understanding of meaning? So, thank you.